and and uh, sometimes their ways. And I think that there's been a couple times prior to my awakening, I guess, that I learned how to be a better uh, partner for Aileen. And I took that to heart and I went through and did it and I just listened to somebody else that had had my ear and I listened to them and I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. And one of them happened to be, I can just like say, hey, there was a, a, a man, he and he said, oh gosh, I got my wife, uh, a chef to come over and we did a dinner together. And he had all these great things to say about how he was making this very specific time in space for his wife. And it sounded amazing. I was like, oh, I want that. I'm going to do that. And I did do that. And I guess we did do something like that. Not quite because at the time we were uh, not able to find somebody to do something like that, but we did something close and it was fun. And I was able to take from that and hopefully somebody can learn something like that to value and to bring value into their marriage uh, or their partnership, whichever you call it. And I would, even this weekend, we were connecting and he said, Ooh, were you a little bit triggered by that? Oh, okay. <laughs> I did do that. And I was like, yes. Uh, <laughs> and he goes, well, let's talk about it. And so instead of it being a, a fight or something that we need to shut down it, I recognized the trigger and we realized it was just a simple misunderstanding and it was a minute and we moved past the trigger. We came into a place of understanding and we went into a deeper connection mm -hmm. I, I forgot about that. We did and it's that. so right. our our energy and our relationship flows we mm -hmm. have very little friction and we really are super intentional about bonding and taking time to connect multiple times per day and per week it's not just oh we're gonna go on this vacation one time a year and that's our investment in a relationship we really feel this pull in our hearts yeah. I, is that your heart too yeah that it's like, I want to, I need to connect with them and we reharmonize and balance. I wouldn't even say it's like hard. It's like a different aspect that you don't, I guess I don't feel like it's, it's like, it's an out of body experience for me specifically, I guess that's my connection. I think the heart just kind of like, that's what people describe. And it's like, to me, it's an out of body experience. Or I can need something and he just comes down and shows up. Yeah. Like I said, I wish Trent would come down here and talk. What did you? Yeah. <laughs> That's and funny. we're just in alignment and in tune with each other. And yeah. it's it's easy and it's a great experience for our children to have parents who are really in tune and flowing. And Gavin has said before, he goes, I hope that I have a relationship with my partner like you and dad have. Because we're just easy and we flow. and Yeah. We can talk about the really, really hard, uncomfortable, awkward conversations and flow through them. And we're not, you know, screaming or separating. We're, it's drawing us closer together. Yeah. But we, it came to this place of letting, you know, learning to heal. And we're going to walk you through the stages and steps of this. And you really have to do very minimal at the retreat it's it's like baby steps but it takes you into this big place of empowerment within yourself yeah and i can say one thing that i've always noticed this is just going to be as a general statement that men in general can't let go and i would say that that would be meaning that something happens to them in their relationship or their friction between somebody else and they just can't let go they want to uh, go fight that guy or go hurt that guy or go argue with that guy or whatever and they kind of take that into their relationship and I, I actually feel one of my big, greatest strengths is I'm, I typically let go and I forget a lot, easily, you know, after we move past something, I'm just, I let the space go and okay, we're done with that. And I don't bring it back and bring that negative energy back into, into, into our future. And that's so, what healing is letting go. We let it go and then it doesn't get stuck in our bodies. Mm -hmm. And then we don't have that trigger point inside of us, it's gone and we don't need to hold on to it because we healed it.